Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. We just got into a truck with some hillbillies. Hopefully they don't molest us or anything. But we are a criminal, I believe, so we can handle our business if anybody tries anything weird. Go into a cornfield, though. Hopefully these guys aren't cannibals either. I don't know what's worse, zombies or cannibals? Or are they the same thing? Aren't cannibals, zombies and zombies cannibals? Well, not every cannibal is a zombie, but all zombies, zombies, all zombies are cannibals. Hey, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You don't have to lie. I know you don't like me. I don't like you either. You stunk on the ride home. What? This is a nice house. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. We need a place to say we need some help. We need a, your boy's a lifesaver. Oh, I didn't say anything. I told him we Damn could it. help him out. Fuck. We really appreciate it. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Say yes. Say yes. Yes. <sighs> okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Oh, yeah. I fucked my shit up. Yeah. It's not doing so good. All the way up. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Thanks, old geezer. I'm glad that Clementine stuck up for me and said that I was her daughter. Said that I was her daughter. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. It's not bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I didn't tell him my name, but my name is Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel knows your name. Good. You better happen? know my name. I fell, car accident, jumping a fence, don't remember. Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Uh, let's just be honest. Police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son is right. Yeah, he's right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A man got run over, a dead cop crawling on the ground, dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Grandpappy. If it gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, okay I like that better. Preferable. Lee, There's why you gotta copy me? Such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow. All right. Which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Macon? I don't want to go to Macon. 
Man, Lord these Lord. choices go by so fast. I get like bad anxiety because I'm just like, oh, which one do I choose? And then I end up just choosing the wrong thing that I didn't even want to say. It like horseshit. You know what? She could be a grown girl. You know what? Don't cuss in front of kids. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Just like that. Horse manure. Smells like gross. I my mom and dad. Aww. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Her voice, it just makes you sad. She's like, I miss my mom and dad. Well, I can't do it like her because she has a very great voice for that. But it makes you feel for her. <laughs> Goddamn, Lee. What were you dreaming about? Those creepy ass wet dreams. I love you, baby, and then. Hey, ah! get up. Who the fuck are you? It's your gross ass mustache. Oh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. Oh, shut up. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Dodging or quacking? Duck? duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. That kid looks like the bully from Toy Story. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right, Miss Piggy looking ass. I guess the men got to do some work around here. Let's see. Let me see what's on Clementine's mind. Clem, can I talk to you? Nope. All right. Let's talk to old Kenny, the Kenmeister. Hello, Princess Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you All need right. any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No kids. Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? I want to know about his plan. I don't give two ratty shits about his son. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Alright, so I don't really care about his son, so yeah. we're gonna go do our own thing. Let's see if that one guy needs help, because I, need to, I think they need to fortify this place. And yeah, there they are, by the tractor, the little kid Duck. I mean, why the fuck is his name Duck? God, I can already tell this kid's gonna be annoying as shit. Let's talk to Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. Can you I'm please drive it into that wall over there? Lift with your back, Sean. Oh God. Sean, I need to talk to you, buddy. Shawnee? Nope. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Alright, where 
is the help. Wait, there we go. Look at Fence. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. To be honest, this fence sucks balls. But you know what? Hopefully we can make it work. Ooh, a little dog house. I wonder what kind of dog they had. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Yeah, let me see if I you can talk to Clementine. It gets lots of tangles. There you, you go. Having a nice time with Katya Clementine. Yeah. That's good. That's real good. Hi, Katya. What kind of name is Katya? Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? What do you do? How's the city? What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it Respect. that you really? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Well, no shit. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Let's back leave. In a bit. Okay, Lee. I wonder what he did to be in that cop car. Because he was just having that weird dream about that girl. I'm assuming that's his wife. Maybe he killed his wife. Where do we go? Oh, there you go. We talked to him. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Oh, goddamn. It's okay. Saw this bad girl up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. You gotta do what you gotta do. Damn. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. Sad. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I bashed a girl's brain in. Bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Maybe I'm being yours? too honest. How's your family? My parents are in Macon with my brother. I don't know where my ex-wife is. I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. Stop being weird, Sean. Nobody That's likes a weirdo. Need cut for now. Thanks. You're welcome. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okie dokie. Let's head on over to the barn. Hey, Herschel. Scooping up that horse shit. How do I get in there? Okay. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot, I got a ride. I was on my way out. I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. 
Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was looking for help in her house. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I Something's off about him. Advice? Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Damn, Please all right. Common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. I'll get my gun. Oh, damn, the music just got intense. It's bumping now. Oh, shit. John, he's coming. Duck, run, fuck! Oh. oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. oh! Fuck! I'm sorry, gotta go for the kid, shit! Oh god! Duh! on! Duh, bitch! Come on! Grab the little pipsqueak! Shit, punch him again! Oh, motherfucker! Ah! All right, Sean, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, stop looking. Oh, you freaking pussy, Kenny. Oh my God, you're such a pussy. Shit, there's two, oh. Yo, he's barbecue chicken now. I'm sorry, Hirsch. Damn, they had a feast. That's all bad. Kenny ran away like a giant JJ though. Get out. Oh shit. Get the fuck out of here! Oh god damn! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Well, I was trying to. I was worried about the kid. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. All right. Damn. You better thank me. I saved your kid, you better thank me. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Hell yeah. Wow. Hold on, I gotta drink some water to that. That dude got tore up. He became dinner. Like they were just going on that ass. Whew. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Hey, 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 don't say that. Look what you did. Look what you did. Gotta be out loud and shit. Oh, God. Where the fuck did she come from? She came out all gangster, too, just like, pow. 
Plow, plow, plow. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Hey, we're right here, you know. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We they have kids. Out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a minute. Second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and uh, Clem just ran out there. Oh, Clementine's going away. Fuck She's an asshole. In a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Whoa. For my dead body. Whoa. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Oh. Uh... Dad, it's just a boy. Reason hey, with Willie, him. I'll handle this. Reason with him. Dad, you need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, nobody's Willie. gonna kill the kid. Hey, you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. It's his son. Upsetting is getting eaten. If it was alive. your girl. Dad, yeah, if it was your girl. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, he's just a boy. Dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Hit him, Kenny. Stop him. No, stop him. No. No. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. Who I've you? Got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, yeah, you old fuck! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> go, go, Lee, go! Really, you are so clumsy. I can't believe how clumsy you are. Uh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You got this, Lee. Oh! What the fuck? Uh, guys? Clementine will remember you didn't save her. I was so far away. That's crazy, man. That's bullshit. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, oh. Shit. Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong with him? Was he the one bitten? I think he had a heart attack. What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. 
um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Through the office. We'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. No Everyone shit, else what else are you gonna do? And look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. That'd be great. Yeah, let's give him positive energy. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do hey, that, up top. here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Since now, when did Kenny become the leader? Alright, so we gotta get this nasty old fart some pills. Got it. Doug, I feel like this guy's gonna fuck shit up for us. He just looks like a fuck up. Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'll be alright, not now. Uh, not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. No problem, fuckboy. Let's see what we got over here. What's this? Energy bar. Cool. I have an energy bar, guys! I have an energy bar and you guys don't. What you gonna do about it? Alive inside. That's a lie. Told you it was a lie. Somebody did. I can't. I can't think about them in here. What? Can't think about them in here. There's a photo over there. You see that? Oh. Oh, shit! This is his family's drugstore! Find anything? No, that's horrible! A photo of the family that owned the place? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No! And I don't plan to! It's the apocalypse! Who cares?! The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Please. Keep it on that hush hush. Thanks. Don't worry. Carly will remember you trusted her. Yeah, I do trust her. She's the one with the gun, right? Don't ever talk shit to the person who has a gun. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Because once you talk to the person who has a gun and you wrong them, it's blah blah for you. 
Like, you are done. First aid. It's hard for me to check things. There you go. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. What about that old guy who had the heart attack? Let's talk to Clementine. I feel really bad about not being able to save her. I didn't even know. I thought we were too far away, to be honest. It wasn't like I wasn't trying to save her. It's just that I didn't know that we could reach her in time. Everyone seem okay to you? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. I'm I was so sorry. Scared. Yeah, I was far away. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time, so you're not so far away. I'm gonna try. Good. Promise. I promise. I feel so bad. Her voice makes me feel like crap when I can't do anything for her. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay, we're I'm good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. So we need to find some keys. Let's see here. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I like the friendship that these two have. It feels genuine, it feels real. Let's keep moving this desk. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Alright, let's do go. it. Watch the Lee and Clementine power. Place. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? Let's just move this thing. Well, we want her to trust us, so... We'll say... What do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. We don't want to talk about those things. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Should we just be straight up? I mean, that's a lot for a kid to hear. But I think that now that we're in the apocalypse, I feel like she should know. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got in some trouble, but keep that between us. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Oh! Are you okay? Oh. I hurt my finger! Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. I know where that would be. First aid kit. Yes. Exactly what I was looking for. 
Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yep. Let's uh, wrap that up with the band-aid. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. At least she's not annoying like Duck is. Duck is like, look what I can do! I'm a big dumb kid! But Clementine's just awesome. You feel better now? Alright, you wait there. I gotta handle some Please? business. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Alright. Stay here, alright? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Got it. Has to be in here. Damn it! Really? Uh... Keys, keys, keys. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. This game is sad. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Yeah. Right here. It's the remote to my dad's TV. There we go. That's what I figured. Hmm. What was the point of that? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Hmm. Where are those keys? All right, hold on, Clementine. I'll be back. The keys aren't here, so got to go look for them. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. All right, I guess you're coming with me. me. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. It's complicated. He was. Uh, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. He was bad on my wife. Sleeping with my wife. Banging my wife. Okay, so we need to find a set of keys. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. What? Oh, we can give him the chocolate. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. Not sweet, Lee. Well, you know, I'm all sweetheart, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big old softy when it all comes down to it. What's this? Hey there. This is Glenn, and, uh... I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. All right, but first we need to handle the guy with the heart problem. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Maybe there was something in the bathroom that was here, right? No, we can't check that. There's another candy bar. Let's give it to Clementine because she's awesome. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. 
Of course. I took care of Clementine, of course. Gotta take care of the real ones. Where would those keys be? Wait. Oh, another energy bar. Okay, who am I gonna give this one to? Let's give it to iCarly. Because she saved Clementine with her gun. She's behind here. Carly! Got a present for you. Wait, there you go. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Let me listen to this radio. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Nope. Hmm, nothing. Hmm. Hmm, nothing. Uh, is that all I can press? Wait. Yeah. There are no batteries. Haha. -ha. Found well, it. Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I have uh, a a remote controller. Remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. The big stumpy ones? What the fuck are the big stumpy ones? Are you shitting me? I get some rest, hon. How can All I? All right, hold on. I'll get some rest, baby girl. There. Just chill. I need to find some keys. But damn it! I do not know where the keys are. Maybe they are outside. Let me try going outside. Good. You wanna go have a look around outside? Hell yeah, I do. Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. It's not that bad. Yep, totally not that bad. Oh, man up, you pussy. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one hits you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Hell yeah. I can't reach that brick. What? Why can't you reach that brick? What do we do? Hey man, why would I use the remote control on that shit? Think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you Aww. could do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? He just throws it at a zombie. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. Ah. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Bull fucking shit. Nobody memorizes that. Shut my ass up. Done, Doug. Shut my ass up. Might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? He's like, huh? TV. MTV. Hmm. What are we gonna do? These are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Oh. That brick. How do we get that? That guy over there has the keys. How can mm. we be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. 
You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, I can throw that brick at that wall over there, but my you arms are too short. What the fuck? Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Alright, um... It's a combination lock. I need that brick. that brick. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there to be highlighted and for me to take it. Okay, um... We're gonna go back inside. Head back inside. Okay. All right, we need something to grab that brick. Maybe I go with the Carly girl, and then I can grab something along the way that'll be able to get the brick. So yeah, maybe we go with Carly first. Hey, Carly. Let's go. You ready We're going. to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna go get Glenn. This is gonna be a pretty long episode, I'm assuming, because I've been playing this for a while. Then I'll end the episode after we get old Glenny boy. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. Jesus, Glenn. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Oh. All right. Where are we? What? Why is my thing like this? Okay, so basically it just surveyed the whole map. That was random as okay, shit. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Oh. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Okay. I got this. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. Okay, there's a pillow right here. Take the hell out of that pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Then what did you have in mind? You gonna take a nap right here, motherfucker? Okay. Let's go back, let's go back. Run our asses over there. Maybe we can punch the window with the pillow there. Yeah. Maybe that'll make less noise. Yes. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. God damn it. Okay, um, I was thinking punch it with the pillow. Okay, Lee, you know what? Let's get out of here. Stop looking at that thing. There you go. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Or you can give me the gun and I'll do it. That was I'm pretty sick. sure somebody heard that. <laughs> She's like, yeah, whatever.
Grab it, bitch. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call Lee a bitch, but I'm frustrated right now. I'm frustrated. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. You're coming home. Let's go back. Let's go back to the truck. I want to go back to the truck, Lee. Please? Please let me go back to the truck, Lee. Please? There you go. Sometimes I don't know where to aim the mouse. It's all weird. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry for fucking up. Let's use the spark thingy on here. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Cool. Hey, you didn't hear that. Turn back around. Thank you. Somebody's crying in there, though. I'm not having that. Now we're down to business. Got that. That could scramble a brain pretty good. Time to go. That's clack, clack. exactly what I was thinking. Let's do it. Let's put in work now. Let's get that zombie over the, all the way over there. Just get him, Lee. Come on, you got this. Yeah, sneak up and just go... Right at the top of the skull like a salve. This guy's about to get it too. Right here, baby. Blam. Oh shit, oh shit, he saw me. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. And Vodka! Bitch! Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Special delivery! Bitch! Yeah, right, you can't see. Turn back around with your blind ass. Oh, give me that axe, baby. Axe. Oh, he can grab me, though. So you know what? Give me that. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into an ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Give me that shit. That shit. Let's go, man. You got a freaking axe. Stop sneaking around. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Just sneak up. You got this, Lee. Baby steps. Yeah? Doesn't that hurt your lower back, Lee? I wouldn't know. I never walk around like that. But you got a freaking axe, though. And you're about to slice them both across the face. Like you're a lumberjack chopping down a tree. So here you go, bitch! Get him! Oh, and you too? Okay, I got you, I got you. Let's go. Rad. Totally rad, bro. How convenient. A plank covering the door. Guess I'm gonna chop this bitch down, huh? Or I guess we'll knock. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Hell yeah, we're coming in. Chop that bitch down, Lee. We're coming in, ma'am. Whether you like it or not. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You better. 
Oh, damn, maybe you should have stayed inside. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. <laughs> Glenn, I don't really? Want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Come with us. We'll get help. Come with us. And we'll find you some help. Yeah, help. You At the end of that gun. So. Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just. You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. You can't have a gun. She might shoot you us. can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds. Hey, just back one the moment. fuck up. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Back that ass up! Back up! Please! Oh, shit. oh no, no, no. Whoa! Get it, Lee. Get the gun. Whoa, take it easy. You just want to help. You can't. Miss. Just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No! 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 What the fuck? Shit! Here they come! Get in! Alright guys, I'm gonna end this long ass episode of The Walking Dead here. Some crazy stuff went down. We still have to get that guy who got a heart attack some medicine. So if you guys want to see more of The Walking Dead, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>